now, the After Action Review with Rod Rodriguez. And welcome to another episode of the After Action Review. I'm your host, Rod Rodriguez. And in this episode, we're doing something a little different. Now, my goal for this podcast has always been to produce the kind of show I would listen to myself. Now, with so many podcasts out there competing for your attention, it's important for me to create the best content that I can, the kind of content that these veteran entrepreneurs deserve. So instead of the interview format I've done before, I'm going another direction, as you'll hear in a minute. Also, there's no video for this episode, which might change when I get back to the States, and that's okay. The best part of this podcast is that it's growing as I'm learning, so we can pivot on a dime. We can try new things, and that is really a huge part of what entrepreneurship is all about. It's finding your place in the market. All right, so let's jump into this episode with Jimmy Burgess of Forward March Incorporated, a company trying to bridge the gap between industries and veterans. And we begin in Joplin, Missouri. Well, I got out of the Army in 2008. I knew I kind of needed some kind of purpose and direction after I got out. So I'd moved to Joplin, Missouri is where my boy's mom is from. I had worked a couple of different jobs. I was a pit boss in a casino and a blackjack dealer. Then the Joplin tornado hit in 2011, which kind of turned my life upside down. I kind of knew that the casino wasn't doing much for my soul, so I actually went back to school and became a firefighter and an EMT. Unfortunately, around here, uh, being a firefighter doesn't necessarily pay as much as I'd hoped it would. So I'd kind of gone back into the casino thing um, the whole time. You know, I, I just got this need that I want to help people. A guy named Paul Volpe down in San Antonio, who was actually my recruiter in the Army over 20 years ago. Paul had contacted me and saw that I'd kind of uh, was kind of waffling back and forth about what I kind of wanted to do. And, you know, so I reached out to him. He reached out to me because we stayed in good communication. He said, here's the tools. You've got the talent. Make it happen. You know, so he gave me um, the platform to kind of stand on. And I said, Joplin would be a great place. It's a great city with people that really want to help veterans, that want to hire veterans, but they don't necessarily know how because we don't have a really close military installation right by. So they don't really know how to approach veterans, how to find them, how to retain them, how to appreciate them. Fort March started about five years ago. We help companies with their veteran hiring programs, where most of us veterans like to help each other, you know, by helping veterans improve their resume, stuff like that. We've decided to take the helping the companies approach on hiring the right veterans for the right jobs, knowing what it is when they look at resumes, what they see, where basic military jobs can switch over to be a civilian job. They say, hey, we're looking for this sort of people. And then we use our, our talent pipeline, which is 360 different transition sites. We like to try and contact units right at the company level if we can, and then help those companies find the right jobs. We also do a program called the Elite Leader Program. We help company leaders with their leadership styles, with their leadership. We teach from a mil with a little bit of military flair. It's not that Arlie Ermey right up in your face with the knife hand. It's been effective for 250 plus years. So if we can help companies, uh, junior leaders and senior leaders even, learn how to better communicate, learn how to better work under the pressure, and that's what we're there for. Every company wants to hire veterans they just don't necessarily know the qualifications or you know which outlets to use to find them so we kind of bridge that gap but the key is in finding the right veteran for the right job uh, because you see it time and time again you know people are like oh yeah we want to hire a veteran and which is great but they don't exactly know the veteran that it is that they're hiring we want to be able to utilize the fact that we're veterans and we feel that we can do anything but it's finding that right fit where they're gonna be able to retain those soldiers for years and years and years. Uh, the idea is just kind of bridging that gap. You know, there's just that misconception of how to approach veterans and how to talk to veterans. But if we can kind of make that transition easier for the young, you know, 22 year old HR woman that doesn't have any knowledge of military stuff. You know, we like to help companies with their, with their marketing and their networking capabilities and how they actually look to reach and address the people that they're looking to hire. Uh, I don't know how many times I've seen just looking at any advertisements where they're like, yeah, we love the military. And then they put up the advertisement and it's like a picture of a dude wearing a Canadian army uniform. It's like, you know, us veterans, we look at that and we're like, no, no, we just can't do it. So we try and help them 
uh, reach to all branches, all ranks, and specifically gear it to the position that they're looking to hire for. For a lot of companies, kind of left that sour taste in their mouth. They're like, yeah, we want to hire these veterans, but then they hire the wrong veterans. So they kind of, they're like, oh, okay, this guy's going to come in. He's going to be, you know, doing this and doing that. And people are going to be like, whoa, this guy's talking all army, you know? So the idea is to be able to get people to better understand and recognize what a service member can bring, what a veteran can bring to the table. And that's really where the key lies. We've created a, a workbook that companies can utilize and we can build something for them from, you know, from bang to bullets on what it is that they're looking for in the veteran that they're hiring. We can also help with the companies and with the veterans coming out to be able to get the right certifications. We never charge a veteran anything for our service. We love to help veterans put together that resume and properly word what it is that they're looking for. For us, we charge the companies to do that because we found it has teeth. When we offer services like that to companies um, and we don't charge for it, uh, they tend to just kind of cast it off to the side and not necessarily utilize it in the right way. We're not, you know, a recruitment agency. We're not, you know, a hiring uh, agency or headhunters. We just utilize our pipeline. But we know in doing that, we do the veterans a disservice and we do companies a disservice if we don't do everything from bang to bullets. If we don't look at their programs and say, this is how you're going to keep soldiers. This is the one, the soldiers that you're looking to hire. And again, when I say soldiers, I mean airmen, you know, Navy guys, Marines, all that stuff, because everybody needs a good Marine to do some coloring or whatever. I got love for Marines. The idea for us is no, you're not going to get that straight translation. But if you can pull out those carrots out of the hat that are going to translate to those important uh, keys that the companies are looking for, it, it holds the same amount of water. It's amazing that today's day and age that there still is that stigma. Not all of us are sitting in a dark corner somewhere with you know, unanswered questions. I'd say a huge portion of us are completely able to live fully functional lives. For us, when we get out, it's kind of that. How are we supposed to act? Is it okay if I do the you know left face, right face and move out? Or how do I talk to them? So the idea in teaching those HR people is to help kind of break that down in the communication process when you first start. If you get a veteran talking about military stuff, they tend to kind of relax a little bit, they kind of break down, they start telling them stories, you know, or they get to be that more relaxed, like, hey, this person really wants to know what it is I did when I was here, or what I did when I was there. One of the things that we we try to help with that we want um, HR people to understand when they're speaking to veterans is a lot of us, when we're asked certain kind of questions like, you know, what is it that you did? What, you know, what was your best, you know, success doing this? We tend to use terms like we and us because we're such, we're so unit team oriented that a lot of HR people kind of misunderstand that as, but that's only because we don't like to take that individual accomplishment when we're talking we like to talk as the team accomplished this as me and the soldiers did this as us and this unit partnered and we did this not everybody's going to work out for the right position you're not going to get that superstar every single time so for us when we say bang the bullets of taking care of your hiring of that veteran that includes even if the veteran doesn't work out us as veterans want you guys, the, the companies that use our services to succeed. We want the veterans to succeed. So for us, we will replace that veteran with another veteran that maybe it might be a better fit. Where that one that they do get might not have worked out, they're still seeing the veterans from forward march continuing to be the tip of the spear to ensure their success. We believe very strongly in how much a veteran can boost up a company to take them to that next level, um, to get other people to kind of step up and do the exact same thing. I was kind of feeling that, um, that burden of like, man, I want to be able to do what I want to do, something that I'm passionate about, something that I know can succeed. It's not necessarily about bankroll or anything like that, but I found out it's in making connections with people. It's in um, setting up that next 
uh, availability to talk to someone else and and speak with conviction and speak with passion you have to be passionate about it because that's what people are going to follow that's what people want to be a part of i see the rewards i see the the benefits of it and it isn't always necessarily monetarily and i think that's where a lot of entrepreneurs and a lot of young starters go wrong is they're so focused on wanting to get so big so fast and they're wanting to look to make so much money so fast and do that but it's 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 a timing thing it's knowing that you know mistakes are going to happen you know every day i find myself sitting here like oh i wish i would have done this a little bit different but then i just then i let it go and then i just keep moving forward for me being able to express my conviction with it like i said with the leadership part of it i i, I love leadership training i love the communication aspect of it i love being out in front i love what when people have that north south moment like yeah, that makes sense. I didn't even think of that, you know, watching them little light bulbs go on and watching that confidence build. To me, it's just so rewarding that I can't stop talking about it. I find out I wake up in the morning. I find that till the time I go to sleep, I'm thinking of different ways to improve for March, to improve the community, to improve the companies I work for, better way of living for veterans. Uh, we partnered with the, the Joplin Chamber of Commerce who came to us and we kind of shared the same thought. What can we do to show veterans that Joplin is a veteran friendly city? So the first thing that we did was we had the mayor do up a, a proclamation saying we love veterans, Joplin loves veterans, we want them. And it was a matter of me just knocking on doors. Hey, who wants to help this? Who wants to do that? Uh, because, you know, a lot of people, they, they want, like I said, they want to be able to understand veterans and employ them and put them in the right spots. But we found that uh, letting everybody come to the table and sit down and talk about these things, you know, whether it's housing, whether it's schooling, whether it's the different veteran organizations. I know in Joplin, we've got over 20 veteran organizations and half of them didn't know about each other. We have a community that wants to really, again, utilize uh, veterans as assets and not liabilities. And, you know, I, I love different organizations that try and help out with the suicide prevention and all that. It's so important. I can't stress how important that is. But I think we're also kind of missing that side of empowering the veteran. That's one thing we were always so geared towards when we were in was being empowered and moving up that rank and getting different responsibility that I think there's been that separation that once we got out, we kind of lose that. We were told the second that we were getting out, you know, you have to take off them stripes and put on the suit and tie and you got to do this. You can't use words like this and you can't talk to people like this and they're not going to understand and they're going to be... To me, I, I, don't, I don't believe that. I believe the companies that we have worked with, the companies that have actually opened their doors to veterans and been open-minded to the, the leadership styles, um, the responsibilities that veterans tend to take on and then accomplish and then move out and draw fire for that next mission. These guys, these young junior leaders and even senior leaders, the retirees and stuff, they're bring, when they get into that workforce and the right job, they're bringing that there and they're seeing them develop these younger people that are coming up that haven't had that type of leadership experience that had not even necessarily leadership experience that life experience you can find me you know on facebook near jimmy burgess or for march inc.com uh, we're always looking for people too where the idea behind forward march is realizing that we're small and we do want to get better in different areas of the country that might be able to say, hey, this sounds great for me. I want to help veterans. I would love to be able to do this. And they can get a hold of me. And just like Paul did for me is the idea of showing other veterans how to properly engage the civilian community and companies and saying, look, we're veterans and we can, we, we can provide you a service. Uh, so we're always looking and that goes the same for our leadership programs and, and stuff, too I mean the, one of the biggest things as a leader is realizing you do not know everything as a leader Realizing that other people are going to add value and substance to whatever it is you do in everyday life Whether it's positive or negative. So we're always looking for that, too. We're looking for good leaders people that want to help us out If you want to learn more about Forward March Incorporated be sure to visit their website 
www.forwardmarchinc.com or give them a call at 1-888-723-6223 between 0900 and 1800 hours. You can also find Forward March Inc. on Twitter and Instagram. So, how did you like the new format? Tell me what you think by leaving a comment on our Facebook page or leave a review on iTunes or Google Play. I'm Rod Rodriguez, and I'll see you at the next episode of the After Action Review. 